Hello, welcome back to CS11. This is a solution for lab number 14 in which we wanted to write a program that initializes an array with 10 random integers and then prints four lines of output containing every element at an even index, every even element, all elements in reverse order, and only the first and last element. Okay. All right, first of all, I'll start off with a constant integer that will define the size of my array. That'll enable us to change that if we wanted to create arrays uh, with different sizes. And next, I'll declare an integer array named A of size A size. Remember, this is one of the difference between arrays and vectors. When you create a vector, you only have to say what type is going in the vector. But when you create an array, you also have to say its size and then it remains that size. Okay, now let's, now we need the first of several loops. And our loop will start at zero because that's the first position in the array. And we'll go up to, but not including a size. Because in an array of size 10, the elements are in position zero through nine. So we always stop at less than than the size. And each position in here we want to give a random value. Now in order to use the random numbers we need to include the C standard library and then we need to see the random number generator. So we also will pound include C time. Okay, so here we fill the array with 10 random integers. Okay, so now we have to print every element at an even index. So let's start off by copying and pasting our loop. And here we're beginning at 0, and instead of increasing by 1, we'll increment our loop by two. So I will count zero, two, four, six, and so on. And that will give us even indexes. And then we can C out A of I, followed by space. And when we drop out of the loop, we can print, print out one single end line. Okay, well let's compile and run the program so far. G plus plus minus wall, oops, G plus plus minus wall minus pedantic lab 14.cpp and compile, run, and there we see the output of uh, five values. Well, of course, we d because they're random, we're not sure that those are the right five. But once we print out um, all of the elements in reverse order, um, that should help. Okay, well, let's repeat this code. And this time, instead of wanting to print out elements at even indexes, we want to print out only even values. So we'll set this back to a loop that touches every element in the array. But here we want to say if a of i modulus 2 is equal to 0. So that says, does 2 divide equally into that number? And if so, then we'll print out the number. Otherwise, in the case where it's false, we do nothing and just go to the next element in the loop. So that should print out only the even values. Let's compile and run the program again. And notice that in our first printout, some of the values were odd. That's okay. They just happen to be located in even positions. But in this second row, we're only seeing even values, as in 4, 0, 8, and 4. Okay. Now, in the next loop, we want to go in reverse order. So instead of initializing i to 0, 
I'll initialize it to a size minus 1, and I'll loop in while i is greater than or equal to 0, and I will subtract 1 from i. And we want to print out every element. So there, I if a size is 10, I will start at 9, and then count downwards 8, 7, 6, and so on. And that should print out every value. And my um, line size here isn't long enough for you to see the uh, whole line without it wrapping. Uh, but those values all printed out on, on one line. Okay, and then lastly, only the first and last element. So the first element is a zero, and the last element is a of a size minus one. and compile and run the program and there we see there's our last value and there's our first value when printed in reverse. Okay, well that's a quick solution to lab 14. Thank you.